Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk. Back in the video today, and today the Houston Astros lose to the Los Angeles Angels in the last game of a three-game series. Tough day for the Houston Astros today. After scoring 22 runs in the last two games, 11 to three in the final in the, in the last two games, uh, Angels only scored th six runs in the first two games, and we scored 22. Not like the Angels' offense was much better today. Their their offense was probably worse than they've been in the in the past two games um and our pitching was really good today but our 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 bats couldn't get hot today we were getting a decent amount of hits but could not score any, produce any runs in this ball game i always want to support the astros and i always will but i kind of had a feeling going into this game that this might have been a potential bad game for the astros I I know and I, I never want to see the Astros do bad, but I actually had a really deep feeling the Astros would lose in this ball game after scoring 22 runs in the past two games, and I, I had a feeling that the Astros would be a little rusty today. And honestly, after seeing Altuve in the first couple at bats, I also had a feeling Altuve's hitting streak, his 14 game hitting streak, would come to an end, and his 14 hitting streak, his 14 game hitting streak did come to an end today for the Astros. But on bright side, Jose Urquidy had his best game of the season in his second start back. I thought he looked really good for the Astros today. Jose Urquidy pitched five innings. He was the losing pitcher, but I thought Urquidy did phenomenal. Gave up only three hits in five innings. Let's go over um, the game and some of the stats, even though it wasn't the best performance from the Astros today. All right, final scores two to one, seven hits for the Astros. They were hitting the ball okay. They were, you know... Usually when you see the Astros score one run um, in any game this season, they have a lot of less, more, you know, they have way less hits than they did today. I mean, I'm not going to say the problem was, you know, you know, getting the ball, you know, getting hits, but I mean, the problem was scoring runs. Bragman had two hits today. McCormick had two hits today. Dubon and Kissner, Kess Kessinger both had a couple hits. So did Tucker. Um, the problem wasn't, you know, getting hits the Astros got seven of them today it was, the problem was scoring runs four four hits for the angels and one error in the ball game that belongs to the astros all right so winning pitcher goes to the starting pitcher for the angels sell Sith. i might have said that wrong but i'm not sure i never heard of him before um he's four and one on the season he pitched five innings today with four hits given up, zero earned runs, five strikeouts, and two walks. How about Jose Urquidy? In the in the first three innings of his outing, uh, he he struck out uh, six of his first nine batters, um, or, or maybe not six of his first nine batters, but uh, six of his out of nine of his first outs, the nine the, his nine first outs, his his first nine outs of the ball game. Six of them were strikeouts. That's uh, a season high in strikeouts for Urquidy today with seven, uh, two and three on the season. He's taken back to. Or is he, what did he? Was he the losing pitcher last Sunday against the Yankees? I cannot really remember. I don't think he was the losing pitcher against the Yankees, but I could be wrong. Um, or wait, never mind. The Astros won that game. Never mind. The Astros won that game, but Urquidy was not the winning pitcher. The, the Astros won against the Yankees last Sunday. But I don't think Yurkiti got the win because when Yurkiti left, the Astros were either down or they were tied or something. And I think one of the players, I, I think either Stanek or Abreu got the win. It was someone like that from the bullpen. Uh, but in last Sunday's, in, in last Sunday's, oh no, it was JP France that got the win uh, last week for the Astros in last Sunday's matchup against the Yankees. And, um, Jose Yurkiti, his second game back, looked way better, pitched a little bit longer. I think he pitched like three or four innings in, in, in his return last week. So pitched about an inning or two more. Looked better. Gave up only three hits, one earned run, seven strikeouts, zero walks. Thought your kitty looked really solid today, but that is his third loss of the season. He's two and three. Save goes to Esther Esther uh, Esther V's, and I know I said that wrong. Um, it's his 25th save of the season. He pitched the ninth inning, of course, gave up zero hits, zero earned runs, zero walks, and had two strikeouts. All right, scoring summary. Uh, the first two scores belong to the Angels. Um, Maniac hit a RBI double. Escobar scored in the third inning. And then how about Shohei Otani? He's been on a terror the whole season. He hits a home run to center, 448 feet, and it's 2-0. to zero. The only run of the ballgame for the Astros was not even an RBI. 
John Singleton scored on a wild pitch by Serrano. A wild pitch on Serrano. Dubon to second. So the one, the run run the Astros did score today was on a wild pitch. Um, let's go over the Astros batting today. Altuve was 0 for 4. Did have a fifth inning walk, and his hitting streak is over. Uh, Alex Bregman had two hits today. A single to left, Altuve to second in the fifth inning, and a seventh inning single. Jordan Alvarez was 0 for 4. Didn't reach. Well, he did reach base one time. It was a um, fielder's choice, but didn't have any hits or walks. Uh, Fielders reached on on a fielder's choice, crushed the ball in the seventh inning, a fly out to center, uh, which could have maybe got the Astros the lead, um, almost got out of the ballpark. Or it would either have been a home run or it would have been a double in the wall, which would have put the Astros in a great position. Uh, But Jordan, tough day for Jordan. Uh, Kyle Tucker was one for four today. He had a ground rule double in the fourth inning. Great hit for Kyle Tucker in the fourth inning, but that was it for King Tuck today. Jasper McCormick with two hits today, a single to right in the second inning, the first hit of the ball game for the Astros, and then an eighth inning single to left, and that was the last hit of the ball. I think that was the last hit of the ball game for the Astros. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the last hit of the ball game for the Astros. Um, yeah, that was the last hit of the ball game for the Astros. So McCormick had the first hit of the game for the Astros, and then he had the last hit of the game. All right, John Singleton for the Astros. Um, didn't have any hits today, but did have two walks and scored a run. Not that bad of a day for Singleton. Had a fourth and sixth inning walk and scored the only run of the ball game. So not that bad of a day for Singleton. He struck out and flat out in his only two at-bats that were not walks. So he's 0-2 for 2 with a run and two, and two walks. Mauricio Dubon, uh, he had a single to center in the sixth inning, Singleton to third, and that was it for... Uh, Mauricio Dubon, and then Greg Kiss- Kessinger, um, yeah, he had, a, he had a double to left in the third inning. He was hitting the ball okay, a couple ground outs to third, um, hitting the ball hard. The double to left was really good hit for him. I thought that that had to feel good for him to get that hit right there, um, and that was the second hit of the ball game for the Astros, but at the same time, uh, that was it for Greg Kessinger today. Um and then Maldonado was 0 for 3. He struck out twice and flied out after having three hits in Friday's game and having Saturday off. Yanir Diaz would pinch hit for Maldonado in the ninth inning, and he struck out. Besides your Kitty pitching the five innings, the Astro, here's what the Astros did with the bullpen today. Parker Mashinsky would relieve Jose Urquidy after his start was over, and Parker Mashinsky would pitch... Um, a one one point one innings pitch gave up one hit with one earned run, which was the Otani home run. Um, and besides that, got through the got through the five batters in nine pitches. Kendall Graveman would go ahead and um, Graveman would go ahead and pitch the last two outs of the sixth inning, or the last two outs of the I'm trying to figure that out. Last two outs of the seventh inning, yeah. Last two outs of the seventh inning, and then then would pitch uh, the first two outs of the eighth inning, um, and then he gave up a walk and a strikeout, and then Brian Abreu pitched the last out of the eighth inning and got that batter uh, out in three pitches. So Abreu and Graveman split the eighth inning, and Mashinsky and and Graveman split the seventh inning. All right, Montero would, after pitching unbelievable over his, you know, he's been pitching great for the Astros since the All Star break. Not that bad of a day, besides giving up a, um, three walks for the Astros today. Um, so Montero pitched 0.2 innings of pitched, got two outs in the ninth inning, and gave up three walks. One to was Otani. I thought that was kind of an intentional walk. He did get a strikeout and got two outs in the ninth inning. Um, and then the Astros put in Ryan Stanek for the last out of the ninth, and Montero wasn't bad besides giving up the three walks, had a strikeout, has been pitching really good for the Astros since the All-Star break, so not that bad by Montero, and then Stanek pitched the last out of the ninth inning. So, struggling day for the Astros today. They only scored one run, and that one run was on a wild pitch. Um, your Kitty looked good in five innings. Astros had seven hits, and Jose Altuve's hitting streak is over. Using our thoughts on the game for today, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out. Go Astros.